Mr. Daniel Vaughn at Texas Monthly shows up. I had yeah. never seen Joshua so nervous. I was like, like not even on our wedding day was he like that. Like, I'm stalo, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like I just saw like, like, like I was just like. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. I'm here in the city of West Echo, Texas, once again featuring Tigo's Barbecue. Now this is our third video together. You guys might remember this was probably the second or third business I ever featured. And then I featured them once again a year later. They've come such a long way to now having their own food truck here at the eatery in West Echo, Texas. Selling out barbacoa, smoked pulled pork pozole, smoked carnitas, you name it. Let's go check it out. I'm Myra Guerrero. Hi, I'm Joshua Guerrero, and we're the owners of Tigo's Barbecue. So I got a call, Mr. Vetta from Brownsville. That's right. And he calls me and he's asking me right thousands before. of questions. He's like, what are you serving today? And whoa, 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 what time do you guys open tomorrow? And this and that, <laughs> I'm just like, what, what, what's going on? Like, So I remember that day, a lot of things went wrong. Yeah. And then I see these guys waiting there like two hours before we open. And I was like, uh, you, you guys uh, need anything? And he's like, oh yeah, we're just here waiting for the barbecue. And I'm just like, little did I know the guy with the black Getty cap, <laughs> Mr. Daniel Vaughn at Texas Monthly shows up. So I had ready. never seen Joshua so nervous. I was like, like Not even on our wedding day was he like that. Like, Too stalo, bro. Like, <laughs> like, I was just like... <laughs> He ends up getting one of everything. <laughs> and um, we have a long line and I'm just peeking through our little window like this. Does he like it? What is he doing? Like, is he like, is he mad? Like what's going is on? He mad? And then like finally the line dies off and like I sit down with him and uh, he's like, well, it's cause I want to be uh, featuring a full article on you guys on our magazine. And I'm just like, no, like, this is what barbecue joints work years to accomplish. Yeah. And we did it in one year. In one year. We didn't have anything fancy, you know, nothing, you know, just mm -hmm. us working. That's basically it, you know? Two people. Two just people. Two people. It's, still it's still two, two it's people. Still, it's still two, just two, us. Two, I... Okay, fast uh, <laughs> backtrack to after Texas Monthly. We're going through this and then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. And at the time, you know, it was just like one or two cases here, you know? Yeah. And I was thinking like, I guess we have to like and we're so wash, stupid wash our hands too. every 10 seconds now. Like, like we didn't I, even I didn't know, know what, what was going on. Was like happening. we went to like three boxes of gloves yeah, that yeah, day. Like that day, we were just like <laughs> changing gloves, gloves every 10 seconds. Everyone. Like, like oh, no I, I guess we don't need to, like we can't touch the thing. <laughs> we didn't know what was happening, you know, we are freaking out. <laughs> so, and then, and then it like, it hit hard, man. And then it really, really hit. And at the time we were that was happening, we were just upgrading to our new trailer and our new smoker. Yeah, like, yeah we didn't know. Yeah, we were sick so we ourselves. Closed, so we, we closed, we closed two weeks, two like, weeks to protect know. our customers because we didn't know if we were sick at the time. Like, yeah, I was like, we need to open. The bills are coming up. Like I was like, it the was bills so don't stressful. stop. Yeah, we're already set up to where people can just get their food and leave. Yeah. So we I was like, I was like, we, I was like, we have the perfect business. So I was like, would you all say that <clears throat> going through? the pandemic like especially in the beginning um has made you guys stronger oh yeah definitely and in, in, in what way everything like our our relationship i can't be without him i can't be without him no but then like, that, oh, quítate, quítate. <laughs> you always say that i'm the backbone but i mean reality is just both of us yeah, like it's, it's, it's crazy we both offer something different yeah. like people should support local because i mean at the end of the day that money that they make is not going to corporations or trust funds or all these things. You know, they're going to pay their it's kids into their same community, their like, kids' college account, their you know, their truck yeah. payment. Like, um, what are ways that you guys are are supporting local as well, either personally or as a business? Take it over. <laughs> well, at our food truck, we do carry what's called Texas Campfire Salsa. It's served with our smoked barbacoa every Sunday. Um, Sammy snacks. Sammy snacks. We have Sammy snacks. She's uh, from Westico as well. Um, what started out as a hobby for her, like she just decided to make it into a little business with the help of her little sister, like with this whole pandemic to keep her busy. Going out and ordering to go places everywhere yeah. we go. Yeah. Lo locally, like. 
Monterrey we always Cafe. eat loco. Joshua had Monterrey Cafe. I had just fresh and Harlingen. We're always we're always like, what, what's we're always new? at Teddy's. <laughs> we're always at Teddy's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so check this out, guys. I got myself some smoked barbacoa, some smoked carnitas, and some of their famous smoked pulled pork pozole. Now, to me, part of the fun of eating barbacoa is putting your tacos together. Okay, so we got our tortilla. Damn, look at that. It smells incredible. Beautiful. I like to put a little bit of cilantro and onions in mine. A little bit of both, a little bit of both. And then of course you gotta have that spicy kick in there. This is some of their campfire salsa. Shout out to those guys. Isn't she lovely? Oops. Let's go for it. Cheers. The most tender meat you'll ever eat. After you've had smoked barbacoa, can you really go and eat it any other way, man? Extremely tender. Oh, the smokiness is just amazing, man. Mm. Great way to start the day. And some campfire salsa. Yeah, baby. Traditionally, how I've eaten barbacoa in the past before, when I haven't eaten smoked barbacoa, they usually do like this really watered down salsa. I love that this one has a lot of texture and it's actually really, really tasty and spicy. So it's not crazy spicy, but it still has a little kick. Love it. Mm. Now we move on to one of my favorites. The smoked pork, oh, the smoked pulled pork pozole. Ta-da! I don't think there's a better breakfast on a cold winter day. Look at this, damn. Beautiful. Let's get a taste of that broth first. Mmm, got a little bit of everything in there. Let's go. Oof, beautiful. Mm, that pulled pork is insane. Now, this is generously served. Look at that. Damn, look at that chunk. This is what's so cool about this. So it's got some smoked pulled pork, but yet the broth, even though it has that smoky flavor, it still has that traditional Mexican flair. It just... <laughs> It's just up on another level. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel if you all enjoy this kind of content. If you guys are watching on Facebook, give my page a like, share with a foodie, and all that good stuff. I always enjoy reading y'all's comments and getting back to you guys. Until the next one, we'll see you.